Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and today we're gonna be cleaning out my newest find. This is a 1962 Impala four-door sedan. It's got a real nice patina to it. It's originally a white car with red guts. So we are going to power wash it, clean it out, and see if we can get the motor freed up and running. It's a 327 or a 283, I'd have to really pull the numbers to determine, but saying a 327 is a lot cooler than a 283. But nonetheless, real nice original survivor car here. This came from my buddy out in Nebraska. This has been sitting in a junkyard since 1975. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. The grill is real nice. The hood's real straight. The body is, you know, actually pretty decent. It does have a couple rust spots in the fenders, um, pretty common, but for the most part, it is a nice original sur survivor car. Here's the motor. Um, it's been pulled apart. The front accessories have been taken off. Motor is stuck, but we will see if we can get it, uh, get her freed up. It would be awesome to get it running, but that might be wishful thinking. Pretty solid old car though underneath here. Just a lot of surface rust and a lot of, a lot of patina. So. Let's uh, let's get to work now. Power wash the old girl, and see how much this uh, this dirt we take off. All right, so with her cleaned up now, it's definitely got a beautiful shine in the chrome. What's left of the paint, cleaned up nice. I think these are 283 badges. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, please. But it's amazing how this chrome on the side here went from being just covered in algae it's actually got a beautiful shine again to it. So just a couple couple minutes of power washing does a, a world of difference. You just can't beat that rear end. 58 to 64, just they did it right. All right, now let's uh let's see now if we can get this red interior to come back to life. Get the carpet out, clean up the seats, vacuum it out. Let's just, uh, let's see what we got to work with here. First thing I need to do here is take this front seat out and it helps that it's uh, not bolted down. So let's get that out of the way and then we'll start, uh, start deep cleaning this old girl. Old school, uh, looks like beef bullion, 1969. That probably isn't any good anymore. All right, back seat comes out. The bottom just has two, uh, two. Uh, I can't even explain it, but they push down into the uh, floor, so you just pop them straight up. And then the back seat comes right out. The 
the back seat upper is held in with a clip on each side. You just fold it over. And then on the bottom here, you just take a, a screwdriver and just pry this little tab up. And then you pull the seat right off. So let's do that now and then we'll get the old girl clean. All right, this is kind of fun. Even though it's maybe not the ideal way to wash a seat. Look at all that dirt just coming right out of the out of the material. All right, seats are out. Let's uh, take all this big stuff out and just start getting rid of it. Like the carpet. All this material. Always wear uh, breathing protection as well. Holy hell. Look at all the ants. When the hood hinge doesn't work, you just uh, make do with what you got. To get this motor clean, the carb is froze, so I, uh, I don't have high hopes for this one, but let's get it cleaned up. Maybe pull a valve cover, see what we're looking at. And I'll get some, some bolts, see if we can get this crank to turn over. It has been soaking now for about a week, um, so I guess if anything, let's give it a shot. All right, made a little more sanitary. Didn't realize someone took the uh, thermostat housing off. It does still have a little water in it, but uh, 
Yeah, I don't know if this one's gonna run or not. Sitting like that, expose the elements. I'm sure this thing has either got cracks in the block, it's stuck tighter than stuck tighter than I'm hoping, or maybe it will come back to life. So let's go get some bolts and see if we can work that crank. All right, the moment of truth. I've got three uh, crank bolts in here, the 3 8 by 24 or fine thread. I know you can buy a plate to do this same thing. Um, I don't have the plate right now, so it's not gonna do me any good. So uh, let's make do with what we have here. Hopefully the bolts don't snap off. Things been sitting for about a week now with some marvel in the cylinders. Um, so let's see if we can rock this crank back and forth. It's not looking good. Try it from the other side. Nope, that's just gonna that's just bending those bolts. Hmm. So nope. That side's the best side to do it from, and she's not moving, especially not with uh, with hand strength anyways. I probably could put a bar on this and see if we get any more torque and leverage, but I don't want to snap those bolts off. So, well, we could take valve covers off, pull the heads, all that stuff. I'm not that mechanically inclined. I'm not like Mort's gear repair is gonna pull an engine. <laughs> uh, God bless that guy, but I'm not doing it with this thing. Got the uh, the seats put back in the old girl. And God almighty, did it make a hell of a difference just cleaning the thing out, fire washing the seats. They are still sun faded. Can't get rid of that, but it did clean up a lot of the dirt, mouse poop, all that other stuff. Hell of a good car. Door shut nice. So yeah, we have pulled this car out of a junkyard where it's been setting for many a decade. And uh, all she needs now is a motor trans swap, maybe an LS swap, some brakes and a fuel system. And you could drive this car as is. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, watching me work, watching me get dirty, make sure to leave a like rating, leave a comment, any questions, thoughts, concerns, I'm always open for feedback and constructive criticism. Help me make these videos better for you all. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a classic find that I bring home. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I will catch you next time.